Hello everybody, today I want to talk to you about remotely accessing your computer. Now while this concept has been around for a while, I have some new things to bring to the table. Now there is a, soft a software that's been out there for a little while, it's called LogMeIn and it's from LogMeIn.com. Now this software, they have several different uh, versions of it and uh, the one I want to talk to you about today is the one that is free. Now the free version is limited to some things, but it lets you manage your computer remotely. You can actually log in through a web browser and you can sh you know, start, shut down your computer, access your files, view any pictures, um, open your documents. Basically, it's a great way to remotely access your computer. Now what's neat about log me in is that there is no configuration for your routers or any of that stuff that you need to do with for example software like VNC which you would need to configure your router to let the port be opened up and then that way you can connect. Well with log me in it's very simple. You, you download the software from the website, uh, download install it on your computer and it will configure itself and it will ask you for a few uh, instructions and then basically install it and then you can open up your web browser and access your computer through uh, log me in. In the next few minutes I will be showing you how to do that and how it works. What I want to mention regarding, uh, regarding uh, remote access is that they came out with a new service now which allows you to use the iPhone uh, for the, the uh, service itself and also you can also use an iPod touch so you can actually use it on these two devices. Now the software it's a little expensive but it's $29.99 in the app store on the iPhone. Um, but believe me, when you try the software, you're going to be amazed. Because what's neat about it is that once you install the software here, let's say you manage several computers, or you have your laptop and, and um, PC on your desktop or your Mac, whichever ones you want to connect to, you can basically install the program here. It's called Log Me in Ignition. And once you install it into the uh, iPhone or the iPod Touch, uh, you can basically open it, connect it, and when you put your username and password, your machines will be listed there. And you can access your machine directly and manage all your files anywhere you are. And if you have the new iPhone that has a 3G, you can do this anywhere. And it works flawlessly. They even have a nice way of actually using the pointer on a mouse, which makes it easier for you to manage. Um, I'm going to show you in the next few minutes, like I said, how to use that application and also uh, what, how LogMeIn works and how you can create an account for those of you that don't have one yet. Uh, for those of you that do have an account with them, uh, you might want to check out the App Store to buy that application. I will put information there. Remember to visit aramistech.com for all the detailed information regarding this device and the LogMeIn software that goes on it and also the uh, LogMeIn links that you're going to need so you can go there and uh, create an account. Remember they have a LogMeIn free account where you can create it, it's no charge to you and you can manage your computers remotely. They have other soft services that they provide, you might want to take a look at, it, at them, it might be useful for you but if you're a home user and you just want to be able to access your machine from work and get into your computer at home or something like that, you can and the most important part is now you can actually use the iPhone for that and with millions of iPhones out there most likely you might be watching this and you have one so if you do then this, definitely this will work for you very very well I have tested it already and like I said I manage several computers and this is just really really good I appreciate you watching my videos stay tuned for the rest of the video thank you okay first you need to open the log me in home page and when you get there, you're going to find that it says download log me in free. Don't click on this button because this is if you already have an account. So you, what we're going to do is create an account. You're going to click here where it says create an account. And uh, you're going to scroll down a little bit and then look for the personal remote access. And you're going to find log me in free. Now click on sign up on the right hand side. And it's going to take you to ask you for it's a form. And you're going to fill out the email address, your password and uh, you know the country and basically the little details uh, once you do that you're gonna receive an email that you need to click on to confirm your account and then your account will be activated once you activate it then you can download the uh, the program itself okay so I already did that here and so I'm gonna show you in the next few seconds you know how we uh, install this how we go through it um, just click on log me in and it's gonna go through the installation it's fairly quick uh, and it's going to configure itself completely. You might see the screen flicker on your PC uh, or your Mac, but it's because it's configuring itself. Okay, but um, just click next and it's going to go through the installation. And uh, what, you know, one thing I want to mention about log me in um, is that you can actually schedule reboots 
uh, on this computer and I'll tell you that in a second uh, here's the terms and agreement just click I agree uh, and you're gonna click on custom instead of typical click next and it's gonna give you the description that it's gonna give this computer and in this case I wanna change this number because I wanna make it something easier so I'm just gonna change that to PC alright and I click next and uh, don't bother with this just click next on that now here is very important it's gonna ask you for your log me in account details you're gonna put here your information so I'm gonna put that now okay and once you put your password on here um, you're gonna make sure you choose here log me in free to make sure that's the account and then we're gonna click next and we're gonna click next again and let it install what I mentioned to you about the uh, scheduling is you can actually go in the preferences of log me in and schedule the computer to reboot let's say every Friday at 10 o'clock uh, and then that way you don't have to bother with it so it's a really good thing you could do and it's part of the service and it's also free now you're gonna have to wait till the uh, finish the installation like I said you might see the screen flicker um, while it creates the account because it is going to create an account on your computer for the log me in once it does this you'll see in a second here we're gonna go finish and now at the bottom here you are gonna have the uh, log me in um, icon okay so it's ready to go